What inspired me to become a teacher? It was always innate in me. I was just born to be a teacher. I've only worked with children all my job, so it's, I'm just kind of lucky that as a kid I knew what I wanted to do and that's my passion and my love. My name is Kimberly Knudsen. I teach at Wilson Middle School Math and Science, seventh grade. Um, one of the most important things I think that I do is help the kids remember different concepts or formulas or strategies to solve math problems. Well, Ms. Nelson, like, she helps me with like a lot of math that makes everything so simple. The singing gets in my head a lot and that's how I remember most of math that she helps me with. If it's a DS, different signs are tracked, now is time to has more to it. Your answer should be the same, just do it. Now you've got the skills to subtract. You're a smart kid, that's a fact word. When I was getting my master's program, um, I just learned that multiple, I did multiple intelligences. And I realized that most of my students were musical and kinesthetic. I also knew as a person that learning through music, I remember all the songs that I learned as a child. So I said, most of the students I teach who are struggling with math are not logical learners and math is very logical. So I said, why don't I use music to help them remember the steps? So I had to reach them where they can connect. Ms. Newton is memorable because she makes things make sense because I'm a very analytical thinker and logic, I don't like logic because I always want to know a reason why. And she kind of helps me with that. Like in math and learning it, it's a lot, I have a lot of difficulties with it because of that but she shows me how to do it. And for the first time in years of going to school, I understand it at least a little bit. The best thing about teaching is building relationships and uplifting students to love learning. And she's a very fun person and she's always smiling. I call her a bucket of sunshine. One of my most memorable experiences happened this year. Um, my student was doing a great job, so I said, hey, let me write you a good note home. You're doing a fabulous job. He really cared about his grade, so I just wrote him a note. I said, I'm so proud of you. I don't know why I'm getting more. Okay, I'm so proud of you, and I know you're gonna be really successful in life. And then he looked at the note and said, I can't believe this. I'm like, what? He's like, wow, no one's ever told me that they were so proud of me before. So I was like, so I got a little emotional, but I was like, okay. So he went home the next day, he came back. I was like, so what did your dad say about your note? And he's like, you're not gonna believe this. And I'm like, what? He's like, my dad, for the first time, told me how proud of me. So his dad told him how proud of him he was, and he was very excited. <laughs> I wish that the sparks go off, that they say, oh my goodness, I love math, I love science, I could do this. I want them to walk away feeling great about themselves, great self-esteem, and just know that these are the building blocks, but I can conquer the next math class or the next science class. So I just want them to walk away with the love for learning and know that it doesn't end here, that they want to go to high school, they want to go to college, they want to just continue and realize that learning never ends.